Now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. Guys, four huge high school basketball games, some state championships tonight in Missouri and Illinois. We're going to start with a big one, New Madrid County Central, Class 3 state title game, Summit Christian Academy versus the Eagles. What's well, actually Eagles versus Eagles. And actually, Summit Christian, they would take the lead, and it's a pretty funny basket to put them ahead in this game. But here comes the Eagles of New Madrid County Central. B.J. Williamson led the way, 26 points on the night. Then it's Jadis Jones. First shot doesn't go. Second shot, aggressive rebounding. He gets it. He scores, and Summit Christian is forced to fight back in the third. They do, getting within about five or six but a big effort in the fourth quarter is going to get the Eagles ahead. They go in with about 10 points in the lead. And boy, I tell you, they dominate the fourth, winning by about 20 points. Here's what basically sealed the game. You can see Jadis Jones steals it away and thunders it home. New Madrid County Central, you can party like it's 2023 because you are back-to-back -back state champs. We're going to go to districts now, class five sectionals, Sykeston at Viani, right from the tip off. Sykeston attacking Dontrez Williams right there, but the Golden Griffins keep in pace. Luke Walsh with the putback. Sykeston down in the second half. Tristan Wiggins not able to get the three to go, but Trey Sadler, the seven footer, grabs the rebound, gets the score. Here comes Viani one more time. They get another three. They had about 13 or 14 apparently in this game. You can see their student section was loving it. Sykeston shocked because the Golden Griffins advance to state. An amazing year for the Bulldogs nonetheless, but definitely not the way they wanted to end the year. Over to Illinois, Class 2A state championship, Benton versus Phillips. Phillips is a team from Chicago, and they're strong. Elijah Harris here, Tedeschi, Benton able to keep it up, and the Rangers keep in this game well into the third quarter, and it's only about a one-point game. Phillips leading in the fourth, but the Wildcats show their class. They pull away and win this one. Benton, nothing to be ashamed of. Rangers, second in the state, their best finish in school history. Another school with one of their best finishes ever, Meridian from Mounds, Illinois, the Bobcats. In the 2A state championship, they did lose 62-43 to against West Central from Winchester. Cougars were too strong on the day, but a great effort from the state runner-ups. Over to college, UT Martin women's basketball in the OVC championship. And the Skyhawks down early to one seed Southern Indiana. Maddie Webb for the Screaming Eagles, able to put on a show basically all game long. She scores right here. And ultimately, UT Martin loses this game. Southern Indiana dominates, wins by almost 30. But it's not the Screaming Eagles that are going to the NCAA tournament. Because they're only in their second year in D1, they're not eligible. So UT Martin, hey, despite getting blown out today, they're going to be the ones dancing in March. The Skyhawks going to the big dance. Over to SEMO, softball goes way into extra innings. You got to keep in mind, seven innings is a softball game. Now we're in the 12th. So top of the 12th, Eastern Illinois, they finally break through. Four runs, Panthers take a 7-3 lead. We go to the bottom of the 12th. SEMO trying to get four runs in one inning, but that's a tall order. Still, Amber Shore scores. But ultimately, this one run right here, that would be it for SEMO. You can see right here, this is it, final out of the game. Eastern Illinois snaps a 30-game home winning streak for SEMO that dated to 2021, and it's a shocker. SEMO loses, but in the second game, well, they got their revenge. SEMO, 9-4, dominant win over the Panthers. One more game in this series tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And in baseball, the Red Hawks beat Marshall yesterday, today, uh, not the same. 7 to 5, Thundering Herd take this one. One more game in West Virginia tomorrow at noon. Hey, we got some Chris Jones news. Kansas City Chiefs just inked the star defensive tackle to a huge contract, 95 million guaranteed. We don't have a number on it just yet, but his agents say he's the highest paid tackle in history. More sports tomorrow. We'll see you then.